Hi, I'm Jake from FedLab.ai. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up an alert. So if we click on the edit button on our strategy, we'll go over to the alerts tab. Click on the plus button, that'll bring up the alert builder. First thing we want to do is name our alert. And the next three boxes are for instructions. You really don't need to fill them out unless you're planning on sharing your strategy. Okay, to build an alert, um, we just need to look at the fields down below and we need to decide what type of information we want in our alert. So every alert can have multiple pieces of data. And the way that we break these apart is by giving them a name and then a value, right? And so we would have type, symbol, and interval. This is a very simple alert. Um, and you can say set up a by uh, signal right here. So you would type in by for the type. And then you can also use the autofill for symbol and interval, and that will send the symbol and the time frame from TradingView. Okay. Um, you can also add a field and say if I wanted to send like the RSI or something, I could put RSI. If I wanted it to be a number and I wanted to do math with it, I could select the type as a number, um, and then I could uh, uh, send that over. So if I wanted to send it from TradingView. Um, I would actually check this dynamic box and that would allow me to use a, a trading view plot. So trading view plots can be found by clicking on the fourth button from the bottom right, uh, from, from the top rather, fourth button from the top. It's called the data window on the sidebar in trading view. And this shows you all of your uh, indicators that you have on the chart. And under each indicator uh, is a list of all the plots. So this is the plot name. Um, and if I wanted to send the RSI over using uh, this indicator, then I would say TV plot name and I would type RSI because that's what I saw over here. If I wanted to use the yellow number, then I would type RSI dash based MA, RSI dash based MA. And that would give me the moving average of the RSI, right? Um, so that's how you do a dynamic uh, alert. Um, and all you would need to do there is just copy the message and then create a new alert and select your indicator. Do whatever sort of condition that you want. So maybe I want to do crossing up the 30 for an RSI uh, over sold. Okay. And then select your options. You just paste what you got from Trade Lab. So Trade Lab already generated the message and we put that in there and then we name our alert and we should be good to go. So that's how you create a alert in Trade Lab. If you press save, you now have a new alert. Um, you can send that alert as a uh, test alert by clicking on this button, send test alert, and you can fill out any information. So if, I, if some of the information is missing because it's supposed to come from TradingView, uh, you would need to fill it out yourself, right? So like this is supposed to come from TradingView, so is this, uh, and the RSI is supposed to come from TradingView, right? But I could I could simulate a different RSI. Maybe the RSI right now is 40 something, right? Um, but I could simulate a 27 RSI if I wanted to, and then I could send this alert and uh, that would bring me to the alert page and it would show me how uh, it processed that alert, okay? So that's how you create an alert. Uh, for more information about how to hook the alert up to the rules so that the alert will actually place orders, um, watch this next video. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to join us on Discord and uh, subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.